What's up guys, M. Jones back in the house again for an in-theater review. Tonight we're going to talk about the movie The Lifeguard, starring uh, Kristen Bell, uh, Amy Madigan, uh, Martin Starr, uh, Mammy Gummer. Um, it was a movie that I had no idea really what it was about because the name was just called The Lifeguard and it's pretty, you know, pretty arbitrary. I don't really know what that could mean. Um, really went into it with very low expectations. I haven't really seen a Kristen Bell movie besides Forgetting Sarah Marshall that I actually kind of liked. So I was just kind of like, oh, I'm sure this movie would be okay. Well, I'm going to say I really liked this movie. It was a really good movie. Um, it was mainly about uh, a reporter for the Associated Press, that being uh, Kristen Bell's character, Lee. Lives in New York. Um, was doing a piece, or, doing a piece on uh, a tiger and apparently the tiger was just, you know, wasn't taken care of real well and uh, unfortunately, you know, died. And no one gave a shit, including the guy she was kind of like seeing, who I think was also her, her boss, who was married to someone else. And, and just she got so fed up with her life and she's playing like a 29 year old uh, woman. And she gets so fed up with her life, she leaves New York and decides, I'm done with the job. I'm going to go back home to Connecticut where I grew up at, where I really love. And I'm going to just see what happens. I'm going to move back with my parents. She moves back with, back with her parents and her mom's Amy Madigan. And she's like into fitness and stuff. And she's really cool. And she's a really good mom. And she lets her back in. You know, obviously you got to pay rent and stuff. Um, what she does is she tries to find a quick job. And she finds a job as a lifeguard um, for the local swimming hole in their area. And the movie was filmed in Pittsburgh and outside of Pittsburgh. But, you know, it was supposed to be in Connecticut. Um, so I thought that was interesting. Um, and where she was at was she was a, a, a lifeguard at this pool. And she happens to like start noticing a few, you know, the, the kids that go and stuff like that. And some of the younger kids give her hell. And she starts to notice like a couple of uh, the older kids are like 16, 18 years old. And the one is um, basically the owner of the pool's uh, son. His name's Little Jason. And it's played by David Lambert, who I think is going to be a really good actor um, down the road. He did an excellent job in this movie. He was probably the the main uh, um, role for an actor in this movie. And um, he plays like a 16 year old. And they just had this chemistry right from the start. And it's, you know, she's 29, he's 16. It's kind of like, okay, it's pretty sure you'd be considered a uh, sex offender, Kristen Bell, if you have any interest, you know, physically and actually happens. And, you know, as time goes on, you know, they start to really start to like each other. Um, just because she, he listens to her and listens to all her problems and vice versa. You know, he's thinking about dropping out of school. She doesn't know what the hell to do with her life because she left a great job in New York. And they both just need each other, you know, and they don't know it. It's just that they just naturally realize how badly they do need each other. Um, and they do it by almost pretty much just doing everything possibly physically. There was a lot of graphic sex scenes in this movie. I did not expect Kristen Bell to be okay with that with a you know a younger, a younger person. I mean, I think in real life the guy's like 19 years old, so he is legal technically. But in the movie, he plays like a 16 year old, and she's 29 in the movie. So it's just you know a lot of people I think got offended by that. You know, I've read a lot of Rotten Tomatoes and a lot of iTunes ratings and reviews, and they're like, oh, I'm so offended and. You know, this is just awful. You know, this is most, most of the women in this country um, that are in prison are, you know, in prison because of that. You know, you know, you know, pr pretty much pr um, preying on a, uh, a, young, a young male under the age of 18. And, you know, I didn't really take it as offensive. You know, maybe I, I know I'm a guy and I, you know, that would be awesome if I was 16 and a 29 year old hot lifeguard wants me. That'd be cool. But I, I didn't, I, you know, I've grown up since then, but I, I have, I watched and I was not offended by the fact she was 29 and he was 16. Um, they just, they happened to just fall in love. You know, it's just, they just, it just seemed to work. Now, was he kind of well beyond his years as a 16 year old? Kind of like how Katie Holmes was in Dawson's Creek where she was just so intelligent for her age, it just didn't seem right. A little bit. The guy, the guy that, he, that portrayed the 16 year old, he did a really good job. He did not seem 16 to me. He seemed maybe 19 or 20. Um, so I think he could have done a little bit better job there, but I do think he had some powerful scenes in the movie. Um, but but anyway, they, they go through a lot of struggles throughout the movie. You know, they're they're both hooking up with each other, and some of her friends that she comes back and sees, one's an assistant principal who's trying to get pregnant and has a crazy husband, 
um, that doesn't listen. And she finds out about them hooking up, and she flips shit. And she's all, you know, and, and you know, Kristen Bell's character is all scared that, you know, the persistent principal um, is going to tell um, about what's going on. So, you know, other things occur where, you know, uh, you know, Jason, the guy, David Lambert, his, one of his good buddies wants to move to Vermont, you know, get out of there and, you know, drop out of school. And he's, you know, he's thinking about it and they're trying to tell him not to do that. You know, we don't want you to leave and, you know, be a, you know, be a loser and, you know, not finish school because you need to have a degree if you want to get a good job, basically, as they're trying to tell him. And, you know, there's a really powerful scene. I cannot tell you anything about that. Because it'll ruin it. But there was a really powerful scene involving death um, that I was like just so just taken back from. You know, it, it involved Kristen Bell's character and David Lambert's character together uh, witnessing, um, you know, a death. And it was just really powerful. The movie was at a solid B minus throughout the whole time until that scene made a solid B plus. I was just like, wow, just awesome. Just it seemed very real. David Lambert, um, his reaction to the death was uh, just, in my opinion, very, very real. I was very impressed with how he acted with that. And Kristen Bell was really good um, at showing just absolute heartfelt a conscience, you know, heartfelt conscience for uh, this for the for the for her uh, buddy, uh, you know, David Lambert's character. And you know, it, it, I I really didn't expect much from the movie. Uh, I think some of them, some ratings have called it a comedy. It is not a comedy. It's a drama. Um, really don't know why it's called a comedy. Um, not really funny scene. Just just very dramatic and, you know, a little depressing. Um, a solid ending. Really liked the ending. Thought it was, you know, pretty solidified. Um, you know, and, and I, really, I really think that uh, the movie will do well um, probably when it goes to Blu-ray. In theaters, I don't know how it's going to be. But on Blu-ray, I think it's one of those movies where it's just, it'll work when people can buy it and just watch it over and over and over rather than have to keep buying a movie, movie ticket to go see it in the theater. Um, but again, I always do ratings from one to five. I'll give this movie a three and a half. Um, I think that some of the casting was kind of random and not real well thought out. You know, there was a lot of secondary actors in there that just didn't do a great job. You know, and I think that... It was almost, you know, like the music in the movie, the, the soundtrack's fantastic. A lot of good alternative rock and alternative folk and, and all that kind of stuff, folk style bands, were in, the, were in the soundtrack. Really good songs. But the music seemed really loud and it seemed much louder than the audio um, for the people talking. So, you know, the editing department didn't do a real good job with that. So that was kind of annoying. It seemed very, uh, very amateurish to me, a little bushly. Um... But I'll give the movie three and a half out of five stars. I, I really did like it for my own self. Um, when I'm thinking about the whole population of this whole world, uh, what they would think, I think they'd probably like it less than I did. Um, I just, I, I guess I've dealt with death before in high school, and so it kind of hit home for me. So it really, uh, you know, got my attention because of that. Um, but, uh, you know... Who wouldn't want to be 16 years old and have a hot 29-year-old lifeguard after them? That's pretty cool. Uh, do I think the movie is an accurate depiction of what can happen? I do, in a sense. Um, but again, I, I thought the movie was, was really good. I give it a three and a half out of five stars. Uh, I definitely think you should check it out. The Lifeguard. And it was a directorial debut as well for uh, Liz W. Garcia, which I thought was really cool. She did a good job for her first movie. But anyway, uh, please give thumbs up if you really like this review. You know, comment, tell me more what you thought. Uh, if you've seen this movie, let me know. Kind of interested in your own thoughts. But uh, until then, you take it easy and okay, bye.